Hello, hello, and welcome to Lockdown Land, which is still, still evacuating all the guests. We're still closing, still closing. And uh, I've been working on this ride here while the guests full out of uh, Lockdown Land. I'm going to continue to build this wooden coaster. Now, this wooden coaster is going to finish off the Western world, the Old West, and it's going to be a very nice train and a very nice ride and it's going to have a very nice scenery around it so all the theming is going to be nice and uh, it's going to be great, it's going to be amazing but well, no one's going to ride it for a while though because the park is shut because uh, GeForce now um, operating a park plus building is getting a little bit laggy occasionally and not massively and it's still playable however, you know, I want to work quickly so um, yeah, let's just we just close the park so the park is closed and um, we can get on with some building now. We're going to build the Q-Line buildings. We have got a Q-Line building. And the Q-Line building goes up and around and down and in and out. And then it'll come out and there'll be an area outside it where uh, you also queue. Because that's what you do for rides, isn't it? You do a lot of queuing. Um, especially at the minute because uh, they're not letting many people on the ride because of COVID restrictions. So you queue twice as long um, uh, but rightfully so you know could do these things safely however uh, it's going to be nice that ride yeah and we're going to put some rock work around the uh, log flume and stuff as well which we we'll, we'll might do in this video uh, as, as you can see this close the park has now been closed for in game time probably about 30 minutes and people are still funneling out in their droves we've not had another crush at the entrance like we did last time but there's still a lot of people leaving the park so it'd be interesting to see what happens when we reopen the park, how fast people come back in. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so let's start closing these rides. Doosh. Runaway Mine Train, closed. Log flume, still people on it. Uh, let's have a look here at the wing coaster, uh, which is uh, broken down. So can't close it, need a mechanic to come sort that out. Um, what about the uh, water dart ride? Yep, closed. The, the little people on the control panels don't actually go anywhere when you close a ride. You think they'd like go to a staff area or something. Planet Coaster 2, please. Um, close the flat ride there. The uh, rapids closed. The pirate ship that no one ever goes on closed. A broken down waiting engineer. Uh, da, 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 da. What was that? The kiddie ride closed. Inverted swing ride with no one on it. Closed. Coaster broken down. Oh, not broken down. Yeah, who'd have thought? No one on it. Closed. Chain still running for some reason. Okay. Oh no, it stopped. Yeah. No, it wasn't still running. Sky ride. Hopefully nobody on it. Not going to check. Closed. Uh, underground sci-fi people mover closed kiddie coaster closed interactive dart ride Ugh, still going through its queue so slow throughput on that ride I've done everything I can to speed it up just so slow uh, broken down again god everything's broken down uh, Indoor spinny thing closed. B&M uh, drop tower closed. Let's go into the cave. And the uh, B&M inverter. Uh, lots of people queuing for it. However, uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, drop tower. No one on it. Emerges from the smoke. Nope, lost reason. Closed. Swinging chairs. Closed. Spinny roundy thing. Closed. Log flu. Still people on it. Yay! Oh, here we go. This is better. Look, drip, drip, drip. Not many people now making their way to the exit and are. Uh, Guest numbers are down to single figures. So, uh, not single figures, sorry, but there's not that many people left in at the park at all. 
hopefully, hopefully, everyone is now making their way to the exit. Are you making the way to your exit? Yes, you are. Entertainers. Oh, right, there you go. Mechanics fix that. So, close the wing rider. Monorail's already closed. Um, log flume. Everyone's gone. Closed. Is that it? Is everything closed? I think so, just about. Okay. So, uh, as we wait for the uh, last um, customers to leave, is it you? Are you the last customers? Maybe. I don't know. Anyone else? There are not many people left at all. Th there's no easy way of locating customers. On Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, because that was the last one, which was four, just, uh, you could uh, you'd get a list of like individual guests, and you could click on each individual guest. But on this one, you can't, which is odd. Then again, 8,000 guests, 9,000 guests. I reckon GeForce now will run, I think it'll break at about 15,000 guests. Um, like, completely break. So, uh, that's a lot of lot of data, isn't it? You know, he probably just doesn't want to do that. I don't blame it at all. Is everyone gone? Or are we waiting for anyone still? No. This is gone. Yes, it's finally got through its customers. So, uh, yep, there's no one there, left there. Um, it is now closed. Okay. Good stuff. All the rides are closed. Right. Oh, did this one, uh, did the engineer fix this? Yes, they did. Right, there you go. I think that's about it, isn't it? Must be. And there they are. The last customers making their way to the park exit. To the park to themselves. Shame if it's open. And finally, yes, there they go. So, bye bye, final guests. Thank you for visiting. Here's some vouchers for a return visit. Ta da! Park tent. Park. Oh no, where is it? No, here they come. Go on, hurry up. And hello, thank you for coming. Here's some vouchers for a return entry. And the park is empty. Now we can get on with some serious construction without them meddling customers around. Uh, a bit of a shame, really, because it's nice to actually build the park where you've got people in it because the, the people give it a lot of atmosphere. Um, but again, when you're trying to build, it does slow you down because the people in the park are slowing the, the, the computing processing down, you know, making the game run a little bit slower. And also, you've got the issues with all your staff. You know, and um, now I don't care about that because I don't need any staff. I mean, I ain't sacked anyone yet. Uh, interested to see if they all still leave like they did before. But I'm going to finish the park and then I can go back in with like a staff strategy. So here we go. This is the station, um, a little faux station bit going on here. And then uh, behind this is the monorail station for the Old West world. And uh, we'll do a little bit of work on the station here, some nice um, detailing there. And then we'll have a ride on, we'll have a, a point of view ride on the Woody, so you can see the Woody in, in all its glory. Um, before, of course, all the theming. The big thing about the Woody is there's going to be a lot of theming around the hotels. So the, the POV you can see is without the hotel. So, um, you know, just to kind of imagine they're there. But I will come back and do POVs for everything, every ride when the park's finished. I'm going to do a tour of the park as well. I might actually do a full YouTube video about a guest's day out. So literally, just take a guest when they enter the park, click on them, follow them, record it for the whole time they're in the park. So what's that going to be? I don't know, two, three hour YouTube videos, something like that, of them just going around. It'd be dead good. Anyway, uh, it is the, the Woody. And you can see there that there is um, a spotty connection with GeForce Now. Thanks for that, GeForce Now. Uh, and you can see there the start of one of the hotels there, just to the right screen. Now it's kind of in the centre near the lift hill. Um, the hotels are going to go along, the, 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 all along the side towards the entrance. And pretty much all my hotels are going to be Western hotels, apart from the other side of the old West zone where there's going to be hotels of a different theme, whatever that area is going to be. And although in terms of park layout, these hotels will seem to be far away from the world, um, actually in reality all the hotels are going to be bundled together to separate by a bird. So, you know, it's, it's good in that sense. So we here we go, up, down, love the interaction with that track above. 
and then we're into the lift hill um, with a little bit of jitter there uh, yeah so GeForce now uh, obviously I'm not playing this on my Mac my uh, Mac Air would never ever get past the starter screen of this this game even though it's a reason we do MacBook Air. Uh, I'm playing it on GeForce now. I'm now a founder. Uh, found membership. They opened up some more memberships in Europe, so I'm paying four ninety nine a month. Great British pounds for that. What's that about eight dollars, something like that. Um, that's six euros. And uh, it's a really good service. You just get the game on Steam. You log in, you start playing. I'm going to invest in Nvidia Shield as well. I think for the TV. I play this on TV as well. Um, it's the future. Why would you buy gaming pieces? Why? Because uh, there's no reason why I can see a go buy game pieces. Unless it doesn't have a good internet connection. But this is running on, I've got Sky Broadband super fast, 76 meg, never really goes for 50. Um, so, uh, I hate that. They, they sell these broadbands as high speed. It literally never ever goes for 50. So I can they sell it 76. Um, anyway, at the, the minute it's running about 30 meg a second. So this is this is what GeForce now looks like for thirty seconds, and when you click and stuff, no lag. There, there obviously is, but it, you do not need, you do not see it. Okay, it is beyond human comprehension the lag between you pushing the button, it then pushing the button on the game running on the server, and then returning the response. So yeah, there you go. My only questionable thing is now how much. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what kind of PC you need to run this game flat out anyway. You need something pretty high end, especially when you start ramming the place full of guests. Um, but at GeForce now, they run some pretty high end uh, machines. Um, but this game is a run for some money. But it is, see what it's like on my broadband connection to my house. This poster, by the way, is beautiful, isn't it? Right, there you go. Um, wee, wee, right to the end, and then you come back over. Lovely, really, really nice. This part of the park shaping up beautifully, beautifully, and I can't wait till I've got the rock work in place and you've seen all the rock work as well because it's just beautiful. Love to go there, love to go. I might see if I can plug myself in. Beautiful, put some brain into steam, maybe, maybe not. Though. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, like it and to subscribe. Uh, I'm just going to uh, hold the ride, uh, well I'm just going to wait here a minute, while we go into the station. Um, as you can see, operations on this ride pretty sharpish, you don't wait long at all until you get back to the station. And this has got four trains running on it, good throughput. Good throughput it has, um, and I need to put some detail on the station. There we go, There's, uh, let's close that down because obviously we've got no rides open. Um, yeah, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. There's some stats from the ride if you're interested. Uh, and uh, subscribe. More Minecraft and more Planet Costa is coming next week. Same time, same place. Goodbye now.